So this is an RTX A2000 by NVIDIA. This is a six gigabyte GDDR6 tiny form factor card. We're talking real small. This card was released just a couple years ago and the MSRP was much higher, $500. Actually, just kidding. It apparently was went for 700. This came out right as the crypto, you know, boom and stuff like that happened. I was able to pick mine up from this guy right here on Amazon, link in the description for 250 bucks. And this is the exact one I got. It's got a few scratches on, but um, nothing, nothing too bad. This is not a gaming graphics card. Google says it's equivalent to a 3050 Ti in a laptop. Maybe that's closer to like a 2060 or maybe in a 1660 Ti. I don't know. This is not clear. But one of the questions that is asked is right here. Is an RTX A2000 good for gaming? I have no idea. It says it's perfectly capable of gaming. We're gonna test that out with a couple games, but first we need a computer to put this in. Here's one of the really cool things about one of these graphics. There's no external power, no six pin, no eight pin, or both. It's got four mini display port out. What's so great about this? This is a card that you could probably throw in about any system, small form factor or large form factor. Like this super old AMD system has a total power of 280 watts. Actual TDP of the A2000 is 70 watts. And I believe you can draw 75 watts from a PCI Express slot, which makes it perfect. The point is 280 watts, no external, you're not gonna throw a graphics card in here and you have to replace the power supply either way. But with this, you might just be able to get away with a gaming computer without upgrading anything except the graphics card. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna be throwing it in that computer and I'm also going to be trying. It sells a Dell Optiplex 3010, I'm pretty sure. I wanna put it in that small form factor one. Look at my workshop, pretty cool, huh? That was kind of difficult to put in. All right, so apparently an A8-6500 or whatever is an actual potato. So I was able to find a small bracket so we can fit it into a small form factor PC. Imagine that. So here's a naked, well it's not naked. Boom, there we go. Small form factor bracket. By the way, this is an i5-3470. It's still a little slow and so if you want to check it out on the benchmarking channel, um, it'll be with like an i5-10400 or something like that. Anyway, look how tiny that is. That's pretty accurate. All low settings, Apex Legends, 1080p with v on, 144 locked. That is what we are looking for. It denied me the armor swap. It denied me the armor swap. You saw it for yourself. There's only one game I really know how to play and that I play a lot of, and that's Fall Guys. Imagine. Oh, I'm sorry. Are these person booth bots? Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. 95 FPS, this is barely playable from a me perspective in this game. I'm throwing, I'm throwing for a res, no way. I'm so dead to zone here, there's no way I survive. So in the Apex Legends game, it did not get 144 FPS total. The minimum was 48 FPS. The average was 94 FPS with a maximum of 144, with the 1% being 45 and the 0.1% being 35 FPS. So it played all right, but not what I was expecting. So definitely looking like a mid-range card. Who's this? Who's this? What? Problems. Don't worry about it, mate. Okay, so we got fours of five. These are the settings. I tried to go for a uh, high all around with motion blur low and ray tracing off because no way. Anyway, let's see how well it does in the benchmark. Achieved 50? Really? 50 FPS, so it can't even do high. This is worse than I thought. Uh, so it, it not gonna run high. Unless the CPU is bottlenecking it that hard. Cyber pranked. Okay, we're going for not ray tracing, though this is an RTX card. There's no way on this planet that this card would be able to do ray tracing. What am I looking for? Medium? Should I try medium? Ray tracing off medium? Texture quality? Medium. Everything else? Medium.
Average 37.56, minimum 11, maximum 59, 1920 by 1080. Oof, looks like medium, a little bit. If you're uh, willing to have these dips, then low is probably gonna be the best highest FPS for this A2000. I have to say I'm quite impressed with this mid-range tier card. I thought it would do a little bit better, but considering the fact how small it is, honestly, the fact that it only takes 70 watts, you can throw it into just about any computer and power supply as long as it has a little extra power to give. I believe this is the most powerful small form factor graphics card. I think AMD has one, but it's like an RX 6400. And this one comes in at like a 3050 or like a 1660 Ti, something like that. It performs quite well. Now, this isn't the best case scenario for this card. The CPU was, was actually lacking in this instant and creating a bottleneck. Same with kind of the whole computer. Anyway, this is the RTX E2000, a small form factor, six gigabyte of VRAM little card. It's perfect for gaming, mid-tier gaming, and perfect for throwing into any old system and instantly, pretty much instantly making it into a capable gaming computer. Anyway, thanks for watching. What do you think is so unique about it? It's good for mining.